culture that's completely saturated with dystopias and no utopias is a problem, particularly at a time when the public trust in social institutions, in government, in society writ large has never been lower, at least not in living memory. Precisely because dystopian fiction nearly always figures government, social institutions, society as the antagonist, if not the villain. And conversely, the protagonist, if not the hero, is the rugged individualist that resists those social forces and whose community, to the extent that they belong to one, is no larger than and functions an awful lot like an extended family. And I'm not suggesting that social institutions are above criticism, that they are never the villain. Dystopian fiction doesn't help us to understand where institutions go wrong. They impoverish our understanding of them. They present us with straw men. Every democracy is actually an autocracy. Every leader a dictator. You can only imagine those societies with rugged individualists at the helm. We don't understand what they critique at all.